right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. Know. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Portage, Indiana, USA, Darren the Damage Elkins. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. All right, going through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Khabib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Big kick lands. These guys throwing early. Let's go. Brian. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Khabib lands early and he lands off. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on the stove, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Lands flush with the left hand. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to try to get this fight to the ground. 50 total strikes have now landed for Darren Elkins. Oh, nice one right here. Elkins is lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Keep the pressure on. Counters once again, this time with the overhand right. Let's move that head now. Swing and a big miss by Elkins. And Elkins now connecting on a combination. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gunny. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Overhand block there by Elkins. Oh, snags him with the straight. Nice job there by Darren Elkins. He loaded up on that right hand, too. It's not over. It's not over. Just misses with the punch by Elkins. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Darren Elkins. to avoid the right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Elkins gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice kick. He has it going at it. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Big leg kick lands. Lands with a right hand. Swing and a miss with that punch by Nermago Menos. Left hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Darren Elkins. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. How good is that right hand? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily the full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Oh, buckle him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 
good defense to block the strike coming back. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Namago Medal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his standard. He's developing his skill every single day. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Big, powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Connects with the rights. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Wow. That strike blocked by Nermago Medov. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Elkins. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. The liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, you hate to be on the other end of these strikes. 144 total strikes have now landed for Darren the Damage Elkins. And landing half the shots tonight, 50% the accuracy rate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Elkins' lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Tags him with a flush left. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, big punch land. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. 90 seconds to go. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, uppercut will snap the head back. Nice counter. Just missed with the left there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Paco Medov gets caught by that straight punch there. Another one, yep. Oh, and the left hand. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Nermago Meta. Oh, that's a nice strike. 30 seconds to go in this one. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Hook to the head there by Nermago Medov. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Boom! Body kick right there. Landed perfect. 
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Blocks the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. You've got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. Sneaky head kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Well, getting close to some record totals here, DC. More than 225 total strikes have now landed for Darren Elkins. Well, dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate, landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Darren Elkins. Right hand on point. Ramago Maddox, all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that his body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Spinning back fist. Trying to establish that jab once again. That right hand landed. Back and forth we go. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nermago Medov. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it's really hurt because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again. Guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at. Beautiful straight counter. Elkins gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Darren Elkins. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Great punch. Keep your hands up. Yeah. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Try to establish that jab. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC, a lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, what a punch. Nice one, two there. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Pretty good jab there by Nermago Meta. He just misses there with the left. That's a big strike right there. Elkins gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Hard right, hard right. Misses with the left hook. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And now he lands a combination. Look at the force behind that leg. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful punch. All right, come on. What a body kick. That's a good right hand. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Darren Elkins. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut of the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice punch here. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Whoa! What a fantastic strike. and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. 
timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. No telestrators tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance today. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Jam, Bruce. Bruce. called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what?